everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pisayo and I recently graduated from my MBA program. Today, I'll be sharing with you top things that you should be looking out for, kind of like a checklist for you to be aware of if you intend to move to the United States in 2023. So this is the video you should be watching all the way to the end if you intend to move to the United States in 2023 for your MBA. Don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe if you have not already. Okay, so before we go right into the meat of this video, I would like to hear from you and I would like you to comment right now what stage of the application process are you at? currently at this point i definitely have something for every stage on this channel so be sure to check out my other videos for content that will be useful for you but let me know in the comment section right now are you still unsure or whether the mba is right for you are you contemplating on taking either the gre or the gmat seeing what suits your strength meanwhile the gre is verbal heavy so i advise you to take the the GRE if your strength is in verbal and the GMAT is quant heavy so if you are very quantitative I would advise you to take the GMAT so are you contemplating whether to write the GRE or the GMAT are you still deciding what schools you should apply to at this point have you started speaking to adcoms for any of the schools at all are you already getting materials to study for the exams either your gre your gmat or your ielts tofu depending on what exams you are writing have you already started to get the material are you studying already or have you taken the exam and gotten your desired score or you're planning to retake the exam let me know in the comment section and if you have gotten as far as writing down essays already for your applications let me know in the comment section this is where you absolutely should be you'll meet other prospective mbas in the comment section so definitely take advantage of this and let me know what stage of the process you are in at the moment and depending on what time of the year you are watching this video you could probably have spoken to the ad comms already you've already submitted your application you're waiting to hear back submitted your essays and you're waiting for your recommenders to send in their recommendation letters or you're waiting on the ad com to call you for your interviews or you've already done your interviews and you're waiting for your admit decision or you've already been admitted and you're waiting to get your i20 whatever it is wherever stage that you're at please let me know in the comment section i would like to see it i would like to respond back to you okay so let's go all the way back First things first, your GRE or your GMAT. I took the GRE and I paid for it in 2019. At that time, it was around $150. Now I understand that it's about $200 to take the exam. For GMAT, it's about $250. Now I'll put the link to register for these exams in the description box. So if you have not registered at all, you should check out the ETS websites for registering for GRE and I'll put that for GMAT as well in the comment section so you can get started on it. I also know that for GRE, if you're going to be applying to more than four schools, you would need to pay an additional 30 or $50 to send your test scores to those schools. But for the first four schools that you send your test scores to, it will be free. Now moving on to my second point, which is preparing financially for this journey you are about to embark on, right? Um, so it's cost like preparing for the examinations, getting study materials together, sitting for the exams, you know, you need to prepare and plan your time and plan your resources to cater for this long-term goal that you intend to achieve. And by God's grace, you definitely achieve it, okay? You just need to plan well for it. Now is really the time to start mapping out all your future expenses, right? It's really going to be worth it in the end. It might look like a strain right now, but if you map it out adequately from the beginning, you'll be just fine, okay? Now, next thing after preparing financially is identifying the schools that you want to attend. Identifying the schools that suits your personal and professional goals. 
one way to go about it is using the US News um, MBA business school ranking to just look at schools I'll put that in the description as well for you just look at schools look through their websites look at what their career reports are like look at the diversity in the school look at the programs they offer look at what kind of jobs that students who go to these schools attend look at the region where the school is located look at the costs right if it's something that you can afford well <laughs> if it's something you can afford if you're not looking to get a fully funded scholarship look for those schools who can possibly give you a fully funded scholarship if that is what you are after look for programs where you can get a huge return on your investment look for programs where there are students who are just like you that have attended those programs as well you know there's so many things that go into looking out for schools but depending on what is top of mind for you it might be ranking some people are big on ranking some people want to go to the big brands and that there's nothing wrong with that but decide what is important for you do you consider funding very essential to you being able to take on the MBA program like is it is a fully funded scholarship like the most important thing for you definitely be looking out for schools that would offer you that and I have done another video where I spoke about like 10 schools in fact if you've been following my journey you find at least 20 schools that I have listed on my channel that, that you can possibly get fully funded scholarship from so definitely take advantage of those right and start engaging the admissions committee members in those schools when you speak to the adcom you want to first do your research on the school to find out what the school is big on what they really typically like to see in students then you want to introduce yourself to the adcom and hear about the school from the perspective of the adcom right basically trying to get them to know you to meet you and to like you i'll do a separate video if i haven't pushed that out at, at this time on things you should be prioritizing when you're speaking to members of the adcom so if you've not seen that video yet you should definitely look out for it and watch it okay now moving on to your personal statements and your essays now many schools typically have different topics that they pull out and from july august september many schools will already open up their early rounds from there you can already see the essay questions that are required of you so begin to map out the answers to those questions the answers to those essays start having your drafts ready you can engage a consultant if you want to know a good consultant you can use just ask that in, in the comment section and i will direct you to one you can have people look over your essays for you give trusted colleagues or professionals the opportunity to look over your work and review it for you also in telling your stories you may need your friends to remind you of some leadership capacities that you have worked in in the past that you do not remember or some experiences that are very essential to the new phase of life that you're going to be in but that you don't remember but if you have friends that would you know you could ask some questions they will be able to remind you of some things that you may not consider as very relevant for your essays or to be put on your resume but they are so get speaking to your friends get speaking to your senior colleagues and finding out all those vital information that, that would help you have a compelling story another thing you should start doing right now is your recommenders start identifying who you want who would you ask to send the recommendation letters for your application you need to start identifying them now and prepping them ahead of the time you don't want to rush anyone right you want people to give their best in those letters that they are sending to the school so you want to prepare them ahead of time examples of people that you can use for recommendation are your bosses your colleagues um, people that you currently work with or people that you've you've worked with in the past your clients right if your job is client facing and you've worked with some clients and they're kind enough to recommend you to business school definitely do that if you have been a business owner you should definitely work with partners to give you recommendation if you are straight out of school then you may need to ask your professors to do your recommendation for you although i had a reservation with people coming straight out of undergrad going into mba program it doesn't mean that people don't do it but i just feel like people need to get experience before entering into the mba route so there's so many people you can use your bosses your colleagues 
um maybe not close family and friends except if you have worked with them and they can speak to your leadership or your professional experience the next thing you should absolutely work on is your online presence some schools absolutely check this they want to find do some due diligence on the student that they intend to bring into their school right so one thing you can do right now is to google your name what information comes out do you see naked pictures when you google your name i mean not naked pictures of other people but of yourself right um or do you see articles or do you see professional work or do you see your linkedin pop up if you don't see good things coming up now is it's time for you to start pushing out content at least to cover up for anything that uh, you may have done in the past that is not exactly appropriate right and you can't delete or erase from the internet now is the time for you to start pushing out thought leadership content now is the time to start revamping your linkedin just to show um, your experience in a way that tallies with what you have on your resume or what you are telling to the ad comms okay. Next up is your stories. You need to start gathering those compelling stories that you have Based on the work that you have done in the past after you pass through the MBA application phase Which is the submission of your essays and your recommendation letter You'll be invited for one or two interviews and you need to put your best foot forward I've done a whole video on how to ace an MBA interview and you should definitely check that out if that's the stage that you're currently at right now you should check that out after viewing this video but start putting your stories together and having mock interviews with people just so that you prepare yourself for what is coming okay I'd really like to hear from you what, what things you want me to speak more about so definitely drop it in the comment section don't forget to tell me what stage you are currently if you have not started at all but this video you stumbled on it and it's, it's about to make you start this journey i would like to see that in the video as well please don't forget to share this video with anyone that you find might need this information and don't forget to hit like to comment and to subscribe thanks a lot for watching and see you in my next video bye